coming up with a good thumbnail is not always a walk in the park. You know, you want to find a way to capture the maximum emotion in one still frame. And it's not always easy. I started out with a few different poses trying to capture this particular one. I started here and I thought to myself, yeah, it's good, but I think you can do better. Next, I tried this and I yeah, liked it at first, but after looking at it for 10, 15 seconds, I said, nah, scratch that. And I finally, I landed on this. And after much rumination, I said to myself, that, that's the one, Leon. You've nailed it. What is up, Tomato Mafia? Welcome to a new- Oh, what a happening, Tomato Mafia. My name is Leon Lush. Hello, Tomato Mafia. Tomato Mafia. Six syllables. That is- Tomato Mafia is just way too many syllables when you're trying to do a quick introduction. I gotta- I gotta shorten that shit. I think I'm just gonna cut it down to Tom. I'm gonna call- I'm gonna call you guys Tom from now on. Hello, Tom. Welcome to a new video. My name is Leon Lush, and I'm overflowing with jubilation that you would decide to spend a few minutes here with me before moving on with your day. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Leon, nice clickbait title, asshole, right? I'm going to be a dad. And I, <laughs> that's right. You guys clicked on it. Now, what's the catch? Is there some new Instagram account you're taking the piss out of? You find someone unfunny on the internet? Well, yeah, kind of. I found this new Instagram account called I'm going to be a dad, and, uh... Here's a couple of the things wrong with it. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm only teasing. Uh, my wife is actually pregnant. So rewind a couple of months and I'm chatting with my wife over dinner. We're eating a couple of chicken cutlets with a side of couscous. And I'm saying to her, listen, honey, you know what? YouTube's going pretty well. Things have gone well. 2017's been a good year, but I'm getting to the point where I really need that X factor that's going to take me to the next level. If I want to do this full time, I need that thing that's going to propel me to a million subs in 2018. And she looked me in the eye and she said, Honey, you know the one thing that can ensure your success in 2018. And I said, Well, I, I don't know. Dye my hair and come out of the closet? <laughs> no, she said. Silly. Try again. So I thought about it and I said to myself, Huh, I've got it. I have to become a disrespectful piece of shit that makes 17 minute vlogs where I plug my merch a minimum of 65 times per vlog. And she said, well, actually that would probably work pretty well, but let's just have a kid instead. Now at this point, I know many of you watching are probably a little bit worried and I'm here to reassure you that I can still be your internet dad. I just have to be a real dad at the same time. Now others of you are probably thinking, nice try big guy, but we know Nigel's the father. And for that reason, I did some DNA testing and it is in fact mine. So shut the fuck up. All right guys, memes aside, uh, I am having a baby boy. It's due this August. My wife and I are absolutely thrilled and we're both very excited to be starting a family. Now any YouTuber has to decide as their channel is growing, like how much information, how much of your personal life do you want to share with your online audience? as you're going along and some people way overshare every little detail and every emotion and little thing that happens in their life and other people are completely shut off and live always behind this steel curtain of this kind of persona they've built on the internet. My personal take on it is I've always tried to kind of fall somewhere in the middle. I want to make sure I keep things entertaining where I'm hyped up a little bit and a little over the top, exaggerate, a lot of sarcasm. Behind all the videos where I'm taking the piss out of people on the internet for doing dumb shit. I'm just a pretty normal guy trying to live the best life possible. Now, my wife and I have known for several months about the pregnancy, of course, and we've spent the past couple months telling close family and then close friends and people at work, et cetera, et cetera. And I figured it was finally time to let my internet family know that I am going to be a father and I'm having a little baby boy uh, in August. So I'm extremely, I'm very excited on the real. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. I can't wait to have the opportunity to kind of mold this young man into someone who I can be proud of, as difficult as that may be in today's society. But, uh, you know, I didn't want to just one day be like, oh, look, a baby. And you're like, what the fuck? Where did that come from? So just kind of keeping you up to date on the journey a little bit. Uh, my normal videos will resume. And I got to tell you, I got to tell you, I am just, I cannot wait until my son grows up to be old enough to, you know, start watching YouTube content and he finds clips like this. <laughs> And like this. <laughs> I am going to embarrass the ever-living shit out of him. Now, we've spent the last couple weeks trying to come up with a good name, and we've whittled it down to a couple of finalists. And I want to share those with you right now. The first one is naming him Privilege. 
The second finalist in the name that I'm rooting for is to have my son's first name be subscribed to Leon Lush. And finally, the last idea that was given to me by my good friend, The Nerd City, is to open up a Patreon and give the naming rights to my top patron tier. Oh boy! Can you imagine how that would go? My son would end up being named Daniel Keemstar, probably. I'm kidding, of course. And I just want to wrap this thing up by sending out a warm motherfucking thank you to all of you guys that have been a part of this community for any length of time, whether it be two years, one year, nine days, 35 minutes. I really appreciate it. And the fact that anyone would take a few minutes out of their week to watch my bullshit jokes on the internet is truly remarkable. My only hope is that through my YouTube channel, I can continue to provide a little bit of a break for people in their day-to-day -day lives where they can just let go of their worry and forget about all of life's shit. When I get comments that say things like, you know, Leon, I was, I was having the worst week, I just broke up with my girlfriend, my dog just died, I watched your video, it was the first time I smiled in a month, man, thank you so much. That shit cuts me deep. Bro, hell yeah, I love views, hell yeah, I love money. Believe me, I love both of those things, but I love the fact that it can be Comedy can be a tool used to help people move on from shitty fucking things that are going on in their life. So I'm going to continue to do that. Kid, family, the whole nine yards, man. I, I'm going to keep. Uh, I'm going to keep on trucking. I want to keep making videos. I want to step it up even further. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be a dad in August. I'm fucking pumped, and uh, we'll see what happens. There's a lot of. I got a lot of ideas brewing up top. And uh, I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. So uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I already told you in the beginning of this video that no, Nigel is not the father. So if you ask that question, I will ban you. I won't ban you. I could never. I could, I could never. And uh, slap a like on it if you want. And I'll, I'll, be back, uh, I'll be back soon with another video. Until next time, uh, you guys be, be great. Be good. Love you. Bye. Thank you.